In the southern part of Texas, near the town of San Antonio, there's a fortress all in ruin that the weeds have overgrown. You may look in vain for crosses and you'll never see a one, but sometimes between the setting and the rising of the sun, you can hear a ghostly bugle as the men go marching by. You can hear them as they answer that roll call in the sky. Colonel Travis, Davy Crockett, and a hundred eighty more, Captain Dickinson, Jim Bowie, President counted four. Back in 1836, Houston said to Travis, Get some volunteers and go fortify the Alamo. Well, the men came from Texas and from old Tennessee. And they joined up with Travis to the fight for the right to be free. Indian scouts with squirrel guns, men with muzzle loaders, stood together, heel and toe, to defend the Alamo. You may never see your loved ones. Travis told them that day, there's one who can leave now, there's a fight to the death, let him stay. In the sand, he drew a line with his army saber. Out of a hundred and eighty-five, now a soldier crossed the line with his banners a-dancing in the dawn's golden light. Santa Anna came prancing on a horse as black as the night. Send an officer to tell Travis to surrender. Travis answered with a shell and a rousing rebel yell. Santa Anna turned scarlet. Play the clay low, he roared. I'll show them no quarter. Everyone will be put to the sword. One hundred and eighty-five, holding back five thousand. Five days, six days, eight days, ten. Travis held and held again. Then he sent for replacements for his wounded and lame. But the troops that were coming never came, never came, never came. Twice they charged them, blew recall on the fatal third time. Santa Anna breached the wall, and he killed them one and all. Now the bugles are silent, and there's rust on his sword, and that small band of soldiers. Lie asleep in the arms of the Lord. In the southern part of Texas, near the town of San Antonio, like a statue on his metal rides a cowboy alone. And he sees the cattle grazing where a century before Santa Anna's guns were blazing and the cannons used to roar. And his eyes turn sort of misty, and his heart begins to glow. And he takes his hat off slowly to the men of Alamo. To the third. Ten days of glory.